Hey all you weekend warriors and warriors out there. I got another video showing you how to fix uh, this mirror housing which was bouncing around on me and I noticed there's now a crack here. It was, it was a much smaller crack and I didn't notice it before. Then it went to both sides um, and was kind of bouncing around and unfortunately that by then the warranty was up and so I need to just kind of do a repair uh, in this case, I'm not going to make it super cosmetic, but you'll see that um, uh, you know the, I need to repair the crack on this side. But the crack on this side, I have already done a repair, although I haven't sanded it back down. But you'll see that um, there's uh, there's a fix here, and there's mesh embedded. So all the materials that you need are this kind of plastic welding kit uh, or something like it. Um, you know, this is not like a, a professional one. You know, I wouldn't leave this on for more than 30 minutes because it'll melt. It'll actually, that's, I think, brass. Um, but uh, um, it'll also give you this material to melt onto the plastic. Now, the housing is ABS, so you always want to use the same material that you, uh, uh, to melt into. So um, that's what this is. I mean, or I, I could use this too, that's compatible. I just found some extra ABS laying around, cut it into a piece that I'll use to, um, you know, supplement the material that I melt. And then you want a piece of mesh. So I cut a small piece of mesh that I will span and kind of embed and add the supplement to. Um, so that will that will be a lot of the rigidity that fixes. Um, so you'll need some kind of tin snip or something to cut this stuff, though it's pretty easy to cut. You probably can use normal scissors. And then of course some gloves is a really hot. This one gets up to uh, 500 degrees and some plastics won't melt at that, um, but ABS will. So um, this will be a, you know, a quick repair and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so this is hot enough now. And what you wanna start with is I want to embed this into the repair and I want it to span the, the crack so the issue is I need this part to be heated up so that I can embed it so I need to just start kind of melting this area okay. and I need it to melt enough so that the um, so that the material can be pushed in at the same time. Now I can, oops, I can add, see it's stuck there now, so I can add material. This won't be a good angle, unfortunately, but I can add and melt some material by kind of pulling it onto and above the, this is not quite hot enough, so it's not quite fast enough so that stuff will melt right on and into the repair this whole thing to melt so we just continue to use some of the supplemental material and melt it into the repair so I push that down so that it will uh, so we just keep getting more material. So you see, it, that's starting to embed. That's really good. You can kind of just pull, pull the material away from the supplemental material heat it and then pull it into where you need to repair. Okay. And you just keep doing that until the entire thing's covered. Then you flatten it out as best as you can so that way when you sand you don't have to do a lot of work. Now this doesn't look perfect but um, it will make it so that that crack is repaired.
So that's why this is flat, so you can kind of heat it up and pull the material into the repair. And then flatten it. Oops. This is not a very good angle to be able to do this easily. But you see how I can flatten it? Okay, now I need to fill up around this area too. Again, it's kind of a really tough angle from this side. It was much easier on the other side. So I'm pulling material into the housing and melting it. I want to make sure that this can still you know, slide both directions. So I can't do it quite high enough. I need to flatten it at the top as well. So. Still, I can see a little bit of metal, so we want to still add some more supplemental material. Ah, yeah. So that's basically how we do it, and I'll show you the result uh, after I'm done. Okay, uh, so this is after the repair is done, although I do still see a little bit of metal right there. But, um, I, you know, clearly cosmetic is not super important uh, to me. Um, I'll sand this and, you know, it won't have this rough, this kind of roughness. Um, but, you know, if, if you cared, you could probably paint the entire thing again. Um, I also accidentally hit this a little bit, the top part of the mirror housing. But, um, you know, this rotates just fine. Um, so that's kind of how you do that repair and notice that there's no bouncing at all as I kind of pull and push down or if I was driving down the road this was bouncing all over the place and this really wasn't structurally sound and probably would eventually fall off be hanging by wires so this is that repair and you know um, this mirror housing 80 bucks at least depending upon you know what what you buy so and the time to open up this door and you know replace it um, that's what it saved for something that took me about 10 minutes end to end and the kit is six you know $16 at Harbor Freight or you can buy that on, on Amazon I got a coupon that brought it down to $12 so <laughs> we're talking about saving a decent amount of cash and time so hopefully, you know, you can plastic weld and fix uh, other things around the house, um, outdoor and indoor equipment. And, uh, we'll, you know, we'll see you on the next one. Uh, hopefully we can turn some of you warriors into warriors. Later.